This is the last section in part two called indoctrination and we're going to look at some case studies. Also uh, that concept of externalizing reality I also mentioned in the beginning of this uh, whole uh, presentation of the concept of fantasizing reality and let's see how that w plays into these case studies. And we start with Walt Disney, one of the most famous and revered characters in all of time. I even love watching those movies. So uh, what is Walt Disney? Well, he is a de Molay here. You can see that he is in a de Molay uniform. De Molay is the predecessor to Freemasonry. And so you can clearly see here, this is the de Molay logo along with Freemasonry. As a de Molay, you are very if not 100% likely to move into Freemasonry as uh, an older man. So uh, young uh, Walt Disney here being shown uh, as a de Molay. He also um, uh, paints Mickey Mouse as a de Molay. For former Kansas City de Molay decorates his protege Mickey Mouse. And so you can see Mickey Mouse with the de Molay logo. Here are postcards with Walt Disney and the square and compass of Freemasonry, de Molay International. And you can see here as well, this is order of the de Molay, again, square and compass. Now also in the cartoons, you can see the reference to secret societies, Mickey Mouse chapter, and you see this cartoon now representing uh, the order the chapter of de Molay. In another one, He's showing you uh, uh, another uh, reference to secret societies. And here's a larger image of that. I now pronounce uh, the Barnyard Chapter Order of de Molay duly open, etc. This is a cartoon called Bimbo. And you can see the reference here again to Freemasonry and secret societies. Bimbo here has now uh, been caught into this, uh, uh, looks like a, uh, like a lodge. Uh, now he's being fed into this, uh, the concepts of Freemasonry and secret society, skull and bones, the number 13, which represents rebellion, question marks, which are the mysteries, and this ink blot here, um, also mysteries, and these doors uh, that are going to be opened, and you can see in the final uh, plate, you can see the checkerboard floor duality, uh, and this bimbo cartoon representing secret societies. Moving on with uh, the number 33. Uh, this is Club 33. And there's 33 degrees in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry on Royal Street. And there is the Royal Arch of Freemasonry here. So we have two references to Freemasonry as well as the decoration of the plates itself and the design of the logo as dual uh, with black and white uh, sections. Not all the logos have that but they do. And you can see here the owl in the design of the interior and I believe that should be an owl uh, in the actual interior. If anybody ever gets into that uh, place please let me know so they can confirm this. But in the original design you have the owl of Minerva, Minerva there. On the interior the classic colors of Freemasonry blue and gold and then of course you have Masonic Club uh, uh, pins and again now you see the design of the plateware with the design of an actual uh, uh, Freemasonry lodge floor. Walt Disney and Fantasia uh, of course this is all about magic and he is the Sorcerer's Apprentice so this is a very old film with Mickey being the Sorcerer's Apprentice and wanting to be the sorcerer, here's the sorcerer himself, wanting to be the sorcerer. Now you have two by two, these p people in the woods. This is witchcraft. And of course, you, we understand that wearing this hat represents witchcraft. Uh, were, uh, Merlin the magician, magic. Now you see Satan himself in this. Uh, and then at the end of it, uh, Mickey becomes the sorcerer. So not only uh, I believe that that was symbolic early on uh, in the career of Walt Disney and the career of his protege Mickey Mouse to become this sorcerer. You can see here the Masonic magician and uh, understanding that magic, witchcraft, 
uh, and masonry go hand in hand. S they love King Solomon and his period of going into idolatry. And you can see here the Solomon's key secrets of magic and masonry. And you see here uh, the uh, six-pointed star, which is used in black magic and Satanism, as well as the square and compass. And so this leads you to understand what is on the current flag of Israel. And uh, they are heavily involved in this, as well as the rest of the world, in Freemasonry. And uh, uh, the secret societies have literally taken over. Uh, you, can under you can see here he's holding the key, and that is the key to the mysteries. These are sigils here of, uh, in Satanism of different, uh, I believe, demonic entities uh, and I don't know which ones those are. You can see here con con the consumerism of uh, Walt Disney and the Masonic checker floor. You can also see here, uh, this is uh, Disney product Selena uh, Gomez. And you can see clearly now the two dogs in the tarot card of the moon and the black and white dualism you see the two pillars of freemasonry and you also see the horned animals here and she's also dressed in uh dual uh, dualism clothes and the two women with the two dogs uh, adjoining her and you can also see now uh mickey in a fashion show closing one eye and that one eye symbolism there walt disney and uh, sexuality uh, the little mermaid this particular piece up here is the male part. And so this is p fairly common in Walt Disney and their productions. You can see here the Lion King. If I pull that back, it spells the letter sex. And this is just uh, um, very brief to understand that this goes on. Tangled itself, S, E, X. And you can see the S, the E, and the X in this movie. These are for your children. I probably don't have to explain this at all, but look at what Disney uh, has been involved with. Here's Hannah Montana, and I've never seen a skin-colored guitar before, and that is a piece of candy. And then you have now a Miley Cyrus dancing on a pole at the teen uh, choice awards she wears the all-seeing eye or the eye of Lucifer and there it is and then of course Monsters Inc has the uh, uh, eye in it now let's look at Walt Disney here this is the Mickey Mouse Club. There are allegations of Walt Disney, and you can find these on the internet. There was a book written also uh, that claiming that he was a pedophile, and we see here uh, I, and then the Mickey symbol M K. Uh, you can construe that as Mickey, but in this case, I'm going to introduce what uh, Walt Disney is allegedly been involved with, which is M K Ultra and mind control and I know this sounds far-fetched these are three of the Disney products that we know best uh, Britney Spears um, Christina Aguilera and uh, Justin Timberlake you're gonna see further I want you to hold on and see further evidence of what MK Ultra was MK Ultra is uh, the offshoot of Project Paperclip which was a Nazi program and this had to do with mind control and satanic ritual abuse where uh, the uh, uh, victim is abused and therefore creates alternate personalities uh, through uh, abuse and uh, demons are attached to those personalities so I know this sounds far-fetched but let's move along in this section and you'll understand where I'm coming from so here is uh, Justin Timberlake now doing and imitating Lady Gaga and the triple six sign you see here in a video 33 as well. Uh, this is him now in uh, one of the previous Super Bowls years back uh, with uh, Janet Jackson and you can see obviously that this is a staged event where he pulls off uh, one of the uh, breasts of uh, Janet Jackson and again now looking at Justin Timberlake who he is and this sexual connotation it's all about sex in Disney and these uh, children are uh, programmed into it 
And here is Donald Duck, and I had to block that out. There's Christina Aguilera. This is what Disney produces, and you can see this clearly. Now, Britney Spears had her episode, and you can find this on the Internet of her breaking down, shaving her head, and we believe that this is a result of the wanting to break free from the programming. She's uh, had no a number of interviews that allude to this fact, and uh, Fritz Springmeier actually wrote a book about uh, how the Illuminati creates a, a virtually undetectable mind control slave. Here's Britney Spears now doing the horns for Glee. Now the two protégés with Madonna uh, in this uh, same-sex marriage scene with the woman black and white with a top hat. And we all understand and know this. Britney Spears kissing the altar persona of Lady Gaga as well as uh, that ritual there. And I call it a ritual because it's live on stage and they do this ritualistically. I wanted to show you this because this is uh, key. Um, Miley Cyrus is supposed to be a Christian. They're always supposed to have Christian values or pray and thank God for everything. And so they have gather a huge following, even from the Christian realm, uh, and Christians thinking that they're uh, Christian. Uh, that these stars are Christians. Uh, every atom in your body came from a star that exploded, and the atoms in your left hand probably came from the, a different star than the atoms in your right hand. It is really, it really is the most poetic thing I know about the universe. You are all stardust. You could be here if star, you couldn't be here if stars hadn't exploded, because the elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, all the things that matter for evolution, weren't created at the beginning of time they were created in stars. So forget Jesus. Stars died so you could live. Um, this is an example of professing to be wise uh, and becoming fools. And so we have here a scientist uh, that is stating specifically uh, to forget about Jesus. Um, he knows nothing about uh, creation. These people believe that creation uh, was from nothing, uh, whereas the Christian can claim that God created. The so-called evolutionary scientist can only say that nothing created the universe. And so this saying was actually tweeted by Miley Cyrus, and all of her following fans got this tweet from a supposed Christian. And that is who Miley Cyrus is, and that's the end of this plate.